and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Tip for Tuesday. So I am here to show you how to bake the perfect potato. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you love tips and tricks for your kitchen, but most importantly, you love helping out a good cause, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below for the details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. So three things to getting the perfect baked potato. Number one is no microwave because a microwave is going to cook your potato unevenly amongst other things. So we definitely want to do this in the oven. Number two, no foil. If you wrap your potato in foil, it's going to trap the moisture in. And if you're like me, I like to eat the skin on the potato. So what we're going to do today is actually make a brine, a salty little brine to put our potatoes in real quick. And then number three is to make sure you bring it up to the proper temperature. Cook it all the way to at least 205 degrees. So I went ahead and poked all my potatoes so they don't explode on us. So I do about eight stabs with a fork, so two, and then I turn it about a quarter of a turn all the way around so I have like eight holes. So I took some warm water and I dissolved about two, three tablespoons or teaspoons, excuse me, of salt in here. And I just use regular table salt for this. And it only takes a few seconds. So we're just going to turn these around. And then I have got a wire rack here that I'm going to set them on with a baking sheet underneath. And then I've also got the oven preheated to or set to 450 degrees. So these are going to take about 45 minutes and off to the oven they go. All right, potatoes are out of the oven. There are two things we need to do at this point. First thing we need to do is check the temperature of our potato. So we are looking for 205 degrees. 205 exactly. And you can also kind of tell when they're done. For one, I usually hear them sizzling when I open the oven. And for two, you can tell by how easily it slides in. So let's check our temperature on this one. And 205 also. Actually, that one was 206. <laughs> okay, so second thing we want to do is take a little bit of vegetable oil. And we're just going to kind of coat our potatoes. So you don't want to use butter because butter has moisture in it. So it is going to make your skin all kind of soggy. What you can use instead of butter though, which is what I'm using, is a little bit of rendered bacon fat. So this is going to give it a really nice flavor as well. So I'm just going to flip them over real quick. Make sure we get the other side. It smells like, <laughs> because the potatoes are hot and you put the bacon grease on there, it smells like bacon is cooking. Mm. <laughs> this is going to make me want bacon. That's all right. I think I've got, I don't have any bacon cooked up. I had this, uh, the rendered fat left over from something else. But I do have some bacon bits around here somewhere, the real kind. So, all right, so these are going to go back in the oven for another 10 minutes. All right, potatoes are done. I have got good news and I have got bad news. <laughs> the good news is the potatoes are cooked absolutely perfect. The bad news is what I thought was real bacon bits is fake bacon bits. They're bacon flavored bits. But nevertheless, they add a little bit of color, so... <laughs> So almost with anything, when you pull it out of the oven, you usually want to let it rest. Baked potatoes are the exception to that rule because we want to cut into these right away. We don't want the moisture to get trapped in there. So let's move these two out of the way. And this one we will go ahead and cut. And then I made a little bit of a topping. So my favorite thing, I always say my secret weapon is cream cheese. If you want something creamy, put some cream cheese in it. So I made a little topping here. It's half butter or like one part butter, one part cream cheese with a little bit of rosemary mixed in. So one of the other things I do is put it back in the fridge to firm up and I'll use like a little stainless steel scoop to get a really pretty topping on here. But I'm not going to photograph this. So I'm just going to put it on here. A little bit of cheese. And then a little bit of bacon bits. Maybe not too many because they're not the real thing. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Oh, I forgot some salt. Sometimes I mix the salt right in with my topping. I usually like to put a little pepper on top here, some fresh cracked pepper. Fluffiest baked potatoes ever. <laughs> if you have not cooked them this way, maybe you've just been cooking them in the microwave for years. I did for years, I know. You got to give this a try because these really are like the fluffiest potatoes you will ever taste. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.